once upon a time we were a nation of savers. We haven't yeah. been a nation of savers for a long time. That's right. Okay. And it doesn't appear like we're going to become a nation of savers anytime soon. You know, there, there was a lot of talk over, really over the last year about, um, you know, Americans are starting to save again. The saving rate is going up. And... Um, there have been some recent blog posts about this, and, and I just don't see it. Well, I don't the, see the, it the savings rate. The savings rate's increased. It used to be negative savings, right. and now we're up to like 4% yeah. or something like a year, yeah. which is, I mean, a big increase over a negative savings rate. So it's something. Right. It's something. And if it's tr also true, isn't it, that if the American consumer became a real saver, like a Japanese or a German saver, right. the economy would tank. Uh, yeah, at least uh, there'd be a period of difficult adjustment. I right. mean, this is Keynes's paradox of thrift, as you know, although obviously it hasn't hurt Singapore any, but, but still, we're not Singapore. I mean, my issue is, I think if you asked a thousand Americans to name the four cardinal American virtues, different people would give you different answers, but almost everybody would name thrift as one of them. And Americans just don't save anymore. What's you're, interesting? You know what the, you, you're what, too much of a New Englander. You grew up in upstate New York. I, I, you know, I, you haven't been out to, to to the West Coast enough. Nobody would say thrift. My kids don't even know what that word means. <laughs> well, that's true. It used to mean a savings and a loan, and yeah, that no, didn't exactly. do people any good. But but um, imagine, you know, what this country would be like if, in previous generations and centuries, saving had not been a virtue. Part of the problem, as the commenters on my post pointed out, is that it's now government policy to punish people who are thrifty. That's true. And it's government policy to punish them really in, in, in at least two ways. First, there are very, very low rates that you can earn yeah. on putting your money in safe That's deposit correct. being in banks yeah, or absolutely. certificates of deposit or money yeah. market funds. Yeah. And then second, you, we have a, a nation where 49% of American households receive a check from the government which is in effect a, a dependency benefit of one mm -hmm. form or another, be it Social Security, mm -hmm. Medicare, mm -hmm. food stamps, mm -hmm. or whatever. Mm -hmm. yep. How in a nation, when half the people don't pay income taxes, mm -hmm. and at least half is getting a federal check, how do you practice th thrift in that kind of nation? Well, it's going to be very hard for people to get accustomed to saving money again until they see some kind of reward for it. And as long as we have a zero interest rate policy on the behalf of the Fed, I don't think we're going to see saving really now, escalate in this country. Now, do you think you are mixing up two things? One is your outrage over the twelve and a half dollar coffee, <laughs> or the you know the fashionable items right. with kind of actual savings rates. Do you think you're mixing them up? Do you let the little everyday things get to you? Um, they do get to me, but I think in if you're trying to measure a cultural value. I think the anecdotal evidence carries a lot of weight. Right. And you don't see people today acting the way people acted in the mid-1970s, as you can probably tell. Like you, Evan, I'm old enough to remember it. Yeah. And in the mid '70s, I, I, don't, I don't remember. I don't remember waiting online for an hour and a half as being a good. That wasn't. That wasn't a good use of time. It was. It might have been a good use of money, right. but I don't know. Right. It was a good use of wasn't time. It, it wasn't a good use of time, but people scrimped yeah. and they saved. They wore even. I mean, it's not just Jimmy right. Carter said, "Put on a sweater." Right. People wore sweaters and turned the thermostat down. Yeah. And people don't do that now. 